What is AI? That's a, that's a fun question. That's something I've been sort of trying to teach my first years this semester. Uh, and the way I like to think about it is AI is any computational system that uh, has behavior or does things that we associate with intelligence. And so really it kind of comes back to the definition of what do you think is intelligent, right? So when something like um, an ATM first came out, a lot of people would say, wow, it's, it's giving us money automatically. That's really intelligent. And so maybe back then that was kind of AI. But now we sort of take these for granted and things like ChatGPT and, and you know, self-driving cars and you know, sort of the barrier of what or the, the you know, level of what is and isn't AI, I think, is, is sort of constantly moving. Uh, and so it's a bit of a loose definition, but I would say any sort of computational system that, that displays intelligent behavior. Uh, cool. But I guess because you said ATMs and stuff, there's certain things which people might have considered AIs, which probably aren't, right? So like a calculator mm. or something, because the human mind can't really calculate it that way. You'd think it's very intelligent, but a human mind can't do maths the way, I guess, a computer does maths or a calculator does maths. Does that kind of factor into AI as well? Yeah, I mean, we, we have sort of different levels of AI, if you will. So we have um, things like now or week AI, where we have AI that's very good at um, very specific tasks. So, for example, you could have an AI algorithm that can, um, you know, do your tax return. Um, and that is something that, as you sort of allude to, right, even a human can't necessarily do. You know, I, I, I can kind of do my own tax return because I'm a bit nerdy, but most people, you know, wouldn't want to do their own tax return or, or need to. And so we already have situations where AI is allowing us to do things that we can't or otherwise wouldn't do. And so that idea of intelligence, I think, is more uh, around, you know, things that we associate with experts, for example. So you could hire an accountant to do your tax return or you could get you know, AI tax agent 101 to do it for you. Um, and so, yeah, it, it's sort of a moving a moving goalpost, I think, but it's, it comes back to that kind of core, core definition of what do you think is intelligent? And, and it, it is very vague. Um, and I think that's part of why it's become such a buzzword as well, because it's very easy to sell something as, as intelligent. Very true. Well, um, yeah. Uh, so you often hear AI with this, the term of machine learning those mm. two tend to go hand in hand. Could you elaborate a little bit on what, if there's any differences between the two or, mm. well, are they a subgroup of each other? Yeah, yeah. So you're right. Machine learning is, is a very common term as well. Um, and I think, yes, machine learning is a, a subcategory of AI, essentially. Uh, and when we talk about machine learning, we really mean um, algorithms that learn from data. So you give... Um, and a machine learning algorithm, a big set of data, for example, the whole internet, in the case of things like ChatGPT, um, or you know, a, or a billion images, in the case of some of these um, image recognition algorithms, you give it a bunch of data and it will train on that data. So it takes the data and then um, tries to learn to give you the right answer. So if I say to you, here's 100 photos of cats and 100 photos of dogs, and then your machine learning algorithm will basically take those and one by one try and predict the right answer. And every time it gets it wrong, it will change something about um, how it operates to try and fix that mistake. Um, so yeah, machine learning is sort of a subtype in that it's very really data-driven, whereas AI is a more sort of general concept and can be anything intelligent. It's artificial. Cool. Because um, I... So since ai is a subset of machine sorry machine learning is a subset of ai are there mm -hmm. and machine learning is essentially using a lot of data and teaching something across time to kind of get better what other forms are there in ai then why is this just a subset what are the other things yeah yeah so when we talk about things for example um there's a thing in europe called a human brain project where essentially there's a bunch of researchers um had quite an ambitious goal of trying to make an artificial brain that would act very much like a human brain, but was entirely driven by computers. And so that would be a form of intelligence in that we know, obviously, that our brain demonstrates intelligence. That's 
how we're talking here today. Um, but that's not machine learning because it's not about trying to predict outcomes from data. It's more about trying to recreate or simulate intelligence. And so it can be a little bit of a subtle uh, definition sometimes, but um, you, you can think about uh, yeah different examples like that where you don't necessarily um, have a bunch of data that you're trying to process, but you're more trying to model intelligence. And so that's something that um, the cognitive scientists are obviously quite interested in. Um, and there's some people even here at Vic who are looking at, at you know, whether you can do that and what they would look like. Would you say that old, uh, the, the few years ago, Google developed that uh, robot that could play AlphaGo? Because you can't really imagine it wasn't really a process where they give, them, give them, the robot a whole bunch of games and they just learn on that information. They probably learn the rules of the game, right? Would that, would that be a form of non-machine learning AI? Yeah, I think it, again, your lines get a little bit blurry. Um, you know, definitions are always changing. But yeah, when, when Google was producing AlphaGo, which is, a, the, I guess, the AI model that um, is beating champions at Go now, um, they use a lot of what we call reinforcement learning, which is a type of machine learning, and that they um, basically simulate a whole bunch of games. And then um, their, their AlphaGo AI model tries to learn strategies to win at those games and so it will play a game and then at the end it will get either a reward so for example i won this game in 17 turns that's good or maybe a penalty i lost this game you know my strategy wasn't so good um, and so i think primarily they're using this idea of reinforcement learning which is a type of machine learning but is not quite as data driven perhaps as we would traditionally which is traditionally say because it's not really um you know, a big database, right? It's more simulating games, playing games, and then getting feedback. So, yeah, the lines do blur a little bit there. 